Good morning, everybody. This is Steve Fletcher with a trumpet for my people. Today is January 31st, 2022, and I have an update for you guys. A couple things that I've seen here I want to share with you. Uh, it's getting more and more intense as the days go by, and uh, I have a very important connection this morning. Okay. Now, up at up on the top of this uh, screenshot I've shared with you, uh, I've been doing some videos, I've been, I've been seeing some things and I'm releasing information as I get it little by little. So up at top I've shared with you that the uh, Rolling Stone magazine that was released in 2008, A New Hope, that was released on Pyram March 20th, 2008. The next one that was released in 2009 was also released on Pyram, uh, A New Hope, and then we have The Triumph of Hope, and this is Pyram. Then in 2011, Barack Obama was in Rio de Janeiro, exactly on Pyram, and he took this amazing picture with Christ and the glow in the background, okay? It's a messianic... Uh, revelation of himself on Pyram, okay, in Rio de Janeiro. Well, anyway, it, we go to the next year, now 2012. What happened on 2012? Very pointed message that came across in Israel. It came across in the world. This was world known. This was a very important moment. Netanyahu gave Barack Obama a book of Esther and a pointed reminder of the Iran annihilation threat. This happened on March 7th, 2012. The day of Purim in Israel uh, in 2012 was March 7th. So it was on the Feast of Purim. Netanyahu gave Barack Obama a uh, a book of Esther, okay, pointing to the time of Esther, pointing to Piram. Very important connection here, the biblical connection to the biblical timeline, okay. Israel Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu had a pointed gift for Barack Obama after several days in Washington this week. A copy of the book of Esther, which tells of the genocidal plot against the Jewish people devised by Haman the Agatite. Okay. So this year, we are watching Piram, which is between March 16th and 17th, and then March 17th and 18th, okay? It's all connected to the time frame of the spring equinox, leading up to March 20th, March 22nd, 322. We've got a window of time here with all kinds of signs, loaded down with signs. But there's one thing that happened here on New Year's Eve that I had not uh, made this connection until I was looking up photos or screenshots to share here about the importance of Pyram and just kind of, I wanted to use up this uh, little space here on the bottom of this picture. So I found a picture of Pyram and wow, as I looked up uh, the photos of Pyram, what came to my attention is that Pyram is the time when they use masks, okay? And I specifically recalled when I saw this happy Pyram picture and this type of mask that they had here, I remember that at New Year's Eve, Barack Obama and Michelle came out with these glasses. These glasses, 2022. Well, what are they pointing to? Well, the other thing that I wanted to share with you is that uh, G uh, March 18th just so happens to be the 77th day of the year. Could be coincidental, just an interesting detail. The number 7, 77, March 18th. Well, anyway, Pyram is the time they use the masks. Okay? And so these masks are pointing to a revelation in 2000, it says 2022, loading, loading 2022, they've got the masks, and the masks are pointing 
to Purim. This is what they do on Purim. Okay, so we've got all of these connections. It's not as though out of the blue we're going to connect somehow Barack Obama to Purim. No, there's a lot of connections, and I'm sure there's more. I've only checked. Okay, I, I found 2008, 2009, 2011, 2012. I couldn't find anything in 2010. But maybe if we continue looking, maybe there's 2013, 2014, all the way up to now. What have been the... Remember, the World Health Organization declaration of a pandemic. March 11, 2020 was Shushan Piram. Okay, I've shared this in a previous video. I will leave all of this information for you in the description box. If you haven't seen my previous videos, make sure you go and look at all the previous videos. This information is coming together step by step. But this, this piece here with these masks that Barack Obama had on uh, uh, New Year's Eve, I believe are pointing directly to Purim and the masks that they use. This is the time for masks. What has this whole parade been over two years now? Masks, masks, masks. Well, Purim is the time for masks, okay? And at Purim may be the time for the masks to be taken off and for the final revelation to occur, okay? So I just wanted to share this information with you. I will leave all the links for you in uh, the description box. Have a wonderful day. This is Steve Fletcher with the Trumpet for My People, the sign of his coming revealed.